Hey you guys, what the heck is going on? My name is Matex, and I have another little video here for you today. I'm sorry I haven't put up a video in a while. It's been, uh, it's kind of been taking a break on it for a little bit, working on some other stuff, but I'm back. Um, I decided to make this video sort of like a comeback video, um, like a response to The Fingers Hurts' new, uh, new series, The Versus series. His first episode actually went up a couple days ago, uh, and I think it's a really good idea. It's great because it allows you know us as gamers and subscribers to really come up with like Versus ideas, like what, what do we want him to go up with against next? Um, so his, his video is right here, so before we do that, um, go through this video right here. Uh, this will make a lot more sense, or my video will make a lot more sense if you actually watch his video first. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and get on with it. So his uh, his video was on competitive gaming versus casual gaming, and uh, I kind of have a lot to say about it, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and start with uh, with my stance on it. I am a competitive gamer by heart. Um, I love competitive gaming, and you'll see, honestly, a lot of my videos are very competitive. Even if uh, you know they're meant to be casual, like the let's plays, they kind of get a lot of very competitive often. Um, but that's all right, because that's that's just kind of how I take to it. And none of my other friends really seem to mind. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm a competitive gamer. Um, and I, But I do play casually every once in a while. Um, casual gaming is a little hard for me because, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things that, you know, as you, even the, back in the Nintendo days, you could not give your friend the controller because it's like, he, he doesn't, you just feel he doesn't do it right. Um, and it's just, it's kind of a... A stepping stone you have to step over. You got to learn when to to take it back to you know to kind of sit back and take it casually. Um, and so there are some games that I will play like Borderlands and uh, sometimes even like TF2 that I can play casually and not like really feel like I need to get a competitive edge on the enemy or I need to start uh, being the commander and you know tell people what to do and all that. But um, I do like competitive gaming because it kind of it, it just keeps me on my toes. Every every game seems different whenever you're playing competitively. Um, I mean at least in my opinion. Uh, I know that does, probably doesn't apply to everybody, but it just seems whenever I'm playing, you know, to uh, to win, not, well, not necessarily win, but whenever I'm I'm playing to do the objective, it it just kind of seems that it's it's a lot more fun. I don't know, it's, it's more intense. Um, but I do play casually, every, you know, from time to time. Um, and the main question that he asked was, do you really think that ca uh, competitive gaming clans should be allowed to force their rules onto you, as, if, even if you're just ca you know coming into casually play. And uh, you know I, I, I kind of do and, and don't agree with that. Um, I do agree with it because it all depends on what the rules are. You know, if, it, if it's like rules like don't spawn camp, don't throw grenades all over the place. Um, you know, I think they have the right to to force those rules on people because it just it keeps the gameplay so that everybody's not you know whining and crying and, and then it's it's at least fun. Um, but there are some rules, some really stupid rules, like oh, you can't use the, you know, the M204, you can't use the grenade launcher. You know, it's just some of those rules. It's like, well, you know what? That's the way that they like to play. And if you get in their server and you don't like to play that way, there are, you know, x hundred thousand, you know, other servers in the server list that you could easily join that I can guarantee you probably don't use the same rules. So it's like, you know, you either try to learn to live with it and cope with it or work around it. Um, or you move to a different server, you know. So my stance on that is kind of mixed. It's like, you know, I don't like to be told what what type of weapons or attachments, whatever, I can and can't use. But at the same time, if I really like, if I'm finding I just I I can't play the game without those specific weapons or attachments or whatever they may be, then I'll move to a different server. You know, it's it's not like it's a big deal. Um, so, you know, as far as putting you know forcing rules on on people, it's you know, like I said, it can go both ways. But pretty much, it's like. It's almost like a win-win, you know. You either you either live with it, which is a win, or you move on. You move to a different server, which is yet another win. So, um, the other thing I really wanted to say was, you know, whenever I had a, a clan uh, back in the day, I had you know some rules that I would tell people, you know, don't do this, don't do that. But it wasn't really play-style rules as much as it was just, you know, if if you're repeatedly using one thing like a, you know repeatedly throwing grenades all over the place just to spam the heck out of it then yeah we're gonna kick you or we're at least gonna warn you but at the same time if I really wanted to play competitively we could easily set up a second server for that you know I ran the server myself uh, for the most most of the time but even the people that we knew you know let us run two servers at a time you know temporarily if it was only gonna be for a couple of days that you know if we wanted to make a match or whatever it was so it wasn't like even as a server owner as a clan leader I felt like I had to force rules on each other on people 
it was like if if I wanted to set up a certain amount of rules, um, then I I could easily control. I can make a server and easily control who came in because I knew who was going to follow the rules that I set. Um, so even going that route, you know, looking at it from somebody who used to own a clan or used to own a server, it's the same way. I I never really tried to force any dumb you know playstyle rules on people. It was just that's that's kind of how the server ran and if I really wanted to change up the rules and make them a little more strict I would make a specific server for people that wanted to play competitively and get that competitive edge on the game um, so that's pretty much all I had to say for this uh, this little verses uh, I look I definitely look forward to seeing some other verses uh, episodes and contributing to those as far as topics to talk about um, so definitely look out for more videos from me and from the fingers hurt uh, you can click on this link right here and you can go over to his channel and check it out I would definitely recommend his videos he's very awesome is very, very awesome very uh, fun to listen to and uh, that's where he'll be posting up some the rest of his uh, versus videos and then obviously keep you know tuned here and I'll try to make a, a response video each time that he comes out with the verses so with that, I leave you with my little score if you really care to, to, to read. Um, if there's any extra links that I need to, to give you guys, I will put them in the description below. Uh, that's all I had to say for this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. And like I said, subscribe and stay tuned. Bye.